Ashes and Dust may be a new release for Warren Haynes, but it features music the Govt Mule leader and former Alman Brothers band guitarist has been working to get out for quite some time. I've been writing these kinds of songs my whole life, and as far back as probably six years or something I started thinking about making this kind of record, Haynes tells Billboard about the routesy and acoustic flavored set, which he recorded with Railroad Earth. I just felt like it was time for me to start recording all these songs that were different from the Mule and different from the Alman Brothers and even different from my last album, 2011's Man in Motion. The oldest one is almost 30 years old, is it me or you, some of them are brand new, and there's a lot in between. Company Man, which is previewed below, actually harkens back even further. It's a song about Haynes' father which he wrote several years ago and then revised after kind of interviewing him to make sure that all the facts were accurate during a trip to New Orleans. My dad grew up working in a grocery store for 23 years and then the company was gonna close down in the southeast, Haynes recalls. They said they could relocate him to the west coast or northeast or midwest or something, but he wasn't into it. That's not where his roots were. He didn't want to move his whole family. So he said no and started over and got a job in a factory where kids had more seniority than him. To me it's just a true southern tale of someone who lived their life by his own standards. He has a lot of conviction, and I've always admired him for it. Haynes initially intended to record Ashes and Dust with Liv and Helm, T-Bone Wilk and Leon Russell, but scuttled those plans when Helm and Wilk died, he moved on to Man in Motion as a result. He met Railroad Earth when the group opened for the Almonds in Colorado several years ago and later collaborated with them at some of his solo shows. It doesn't sound like their music and it doesn't sound like anything I've done in the past, says Haynes. It just utilized the chemistry that they have together and that we have together and was a really cool process for me. I felt like it needed to be different than stuff I'd done before. There were no rehearsals, I would show the guys a song they had never heard. We would talk about what instruments might be cool, come up with arrangements, record it and when we were satisfied move on to another song they'd never heard. It was a great way to work, 